Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where, um, well, you can see I, I, <laughs> I built something, something very silly. Um, yes, welcome to, the, well, it says the Megami. It's not, um, this is not the only ship you can do this with, but, um, let's see, actually see if it works, because I haven't tried it using Admiral Snack Bar's, uh, balance mod. But one of the things I was noticing when I was recording, um, for the US campaign was that ships really have a hard time hitting fast targets. Um, yeah, fair enough. So why not make a ship that can go really, really, really fast? And by the way, this thing carries a lot of armor as well. For a heavy cruiser, we've got a 14-inch main belt, 7-inch main deck. So it can take a hit as well. Uh, also has maximum bulkheads, and if you have a really, really fast ship, well, then maybe you can sneak up to a battleship uh, before the battleship is really able to do anything in return. Because ah, this is where the balance mod doesn't help. Uh, de -de -de -de. Right, save. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're, we're lined up. Shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. Right, off. Now, the battleship will dodge despite being only two kilometers away because AI nonsense. However, if you can get it on the opposite side and turning. Ah, it's firing its own torpedoes. Rude. We should be able to get it with the starboard launches. Hello, starboard launches. No. Fucking hell, I hate, I hate torpedoes so much sometimes. No, 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 no. Turn back too soon. Shit. There we go. Torpedoes wait. And... Uh, it's a lot of torpedo hits. Anyway, the Galwa now is a little bit damaged, and we're just going to run away uh, while we reload forever. Um, but yes, you can produce very silly ships like this. Now, it doesn't have to be just Japan, uh, by the way, that you can do this with. You can do this with pretty much any, um, any nation at all. Let's just use a random one. Italy. Okay, cool. So if you are building... Um, something for Italy. Uh, we'll go again up against Spain. Why not? Uh, you don't have to do this for heavy cruisers. You can do this for light cruisers too. But heavy cruisers are fun because they get quite a lot of armor on them. So you can actually make them quite resistant. And if you look here, you know, they're all supposed to go about 36 knots. What we're looking for, though, is the whole form stat. You see on this one, it's 119 on this one's 113, and so on, and so on, and so on. But this one, this one has a hull form of 124. Now, that's very nice. Uh, a hull form of 124, or 162, uh, once it is, uh, the texts are added, is very interesting, because you can see there that the max speed penalty is minus 22% from structural damage, and all the rest of it, but... What it doesn't tell you is that hull form affects the top speed. So this says the max optimal speed is 34 and a half knots. Well, not really. First of all, we're going to reduce our draft and our beam down to nothing. And it doesn't change the hull form stat. So you may be thinking, what are you talking about? Well, at 34.5, that's supposed to be the top speed. Now, keep an eye on the displacement as we, we go up. That added, uh, oops, added not very much at all, added nothing, going to 38 knots, what about 40, oh, a ton, what about 42, another ton, 44, 46, oh, this is, this is cheap, yeah, all the way up to 48 knots, and we are not adding a huge amount of weight on our engines at all, we still have pretty lightweight engines, which means we're at 
of our displacement, and we haven't really done anything. Uh, yeah, we can make the ship nice and small to keep it nice and cheap. We can use a very cheap tower, although this hull annoyingly is running into the problem where the towers are shit. Uh, so we're going to have to probably go zero beam. See, see the big difference? <laughs> like, as you ramp up beam, we could get a little bit of beam out of it. Please tell me that fits. Fuck you. Seriously? Oh, I can fit it. Maybe if I do make it longer. Hold on. We'll get a spot. Oh, sorry. Flash green for a second. There we go. Lovely. Now can I reduce the beam again? Yeah, there we go. Okay, sometimes you just need to need to noodle it. We don't care about towers or anything. Keep those nice and small. Now, uh, <coughs> the next thing you're going to want to do, you need main guns. Just pick a six inch gun and put one six inch gun as far forward as you can. And the other six inch gun as far aft as you can. Why are you doing that? Well, what that does is it makes the Citadel <laughs> really, really, really long. <laughs> and that's counterintuitively exactly what you want to be doing on this type of ship. Just gonna stick the rear tower back there. Um, Next, you're going to want uh, funnels, uh, as many funnels as you can fit. Uh, can't fit two of those. Might even be able to get three of the small ones. If only I could move that tower, but yeah, only accept it there. Which is a bit rubbish. If I can only get two of those in, I can get two of those. Oop. Two of those then. Uh, you want the extra funnels for the extra funnel cap, by the way. In case you're wondering. Uh, shove that back a bit more. Oh. Maybe we can fit three of the small ones now. Yeah, there we go. Extra funnels. Good, good, good. Uh, we don't care about uh, training the crew or anything like that. Um, range is useful on these types of ships if you're playing the campaign. We're just doing custom, so we'll ignore that. Uh, we want it to be able to keep going. So I'm gonna use diesels for this. Might seem like a weird choice. And our engine efficiency is not going to be great. That's fine. Uh, we don't care about range in particular or anything like that. Uh, you can bring torpedo protection if you want, but not really that important. We're going for the all or nothing scheme. Uh, we do want to bring stuff. Uh, go with light, reduce gels, just to keep uh, everything nice and protected. Uh, don't care about that. We don't care about that. We don't care about radar in particular. Uh, we don't care about any of this stuff. No, not on that. Uh, acoustics are helpful. Bring a hydrophone. And you'll know, to have a lot of displacement left. A lot of displacement left. And no, I know we haven't put torpedoes on. So let's get some torpedoes. Now here is where reducing the beam can cause you a few problems, but we have uh, quite a lot of deck space freed up by having just the two, two guns. Uh, I wish you could put it on the barbette, that would be funny. Uh, no, it's not letting me fit anymore. So, got to 24 inch. Uh, they still fire. Nope. Uh, one other quintuple there. And then, can I get some single launches in? No, nah, it's going to be annoying. This is where that uh, Megami hull is really cool because you can fit the uh, side <laughs> torpedoes. We're going to go with fast torps. Um, well, this is not as good a ship, but it, it does demonstrate that you, it can be done with pretty much any high hull form cruiser. Uh, we are then going to absolutely max out the main Citadel armor. And we're gonna get rid of the extended armor completely. Uh, don't need superstructure armor. We don't need conning tower armor, and we do. You, you could also save a bit of weight by reducing the six-inch gun length because 
we don't need that either and you can, we're still underweight which is fine so you could, you could add a bunch of other stuff onto it but you get the idea that <laughs> yeah you know you you can get some pre pretty big torpedoes you could bring some extra ones if you wanted no problem at all uh and yeah this this is a very hard ship for the ai to deal with it can deal with it uh, especially if you're not using the balance mod because then it's even harder um to damage this type of ship but uh, it does work <laughs> and i know i'm starting quite close but Got to change the range. And yeah, you can build these very cheap, well, not that cheap, but pretty cheap cruisers uh, using this. Obviously, you can use the same trick of building very, very fast cruisers um, to just build your regular cruisers. And you can, you can get a very fast cruiser, and it's not very weighty. Come on, torpedoes. If you want to fire now, that'd be good. No. Off. Oh, I fired one set. And nice. 800 damage. Which does almost nothing because torpedoes are broken. Uh, <laughs> and they don't, they, they don't do anywhere near enough. It's such an unsatisfying player weapon. But uh, if you do want to use them, here you go. And you, you could probably stay at pretty close range to this this battleship and it will never be able to hit you. Oh, more torpedoes away. Bad angle. But, yeah, it's a few hits. It's quite a bit of flooding. Run away, reload, come back in, do it again. You could build a bunch of these. Um, and it's a surprising, <laughs> surprisingly uh, successful way of doing things. It, it works, and you can you can abuse this with a lot of the light ships, and just make them really, really fast. Um, and the AI will have terrible trouble dealing with them. This hull, though, the modern heavy cruiser four for Japan is definitely the best, simply because it comes with these casement slots for the torpedoes, so that you can carry a ludicrous number of them uh very easily <laughs> and uh yeah it's 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 a fun stupid little build if you want to uh try out a torpedo based strategy uh here's how you can do it um <laughs> does it make any sense no not really um but it does work <laughs> and uh yeah you can absolutely give enemies to run around. Ow. On the extended bits of the ship there. See, that'll slow me down, which will make me easier to hit. So this one's not as successful. What range are we at now? Four kilometers? No, need to get closer. Closer, 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 closer. Okay, that's close enough. Turn, 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 turn. No, 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 I bugged it off. On. Seal straight. Fucking thing. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh, torpedoes away, though. Ah, that's good. That's a good one. 27 torpedo hits. Only does 13,000 damage, which seems totally wrong. What anti torpedo they have? Five. There you go. Um, still though, that is that is quite the hit, and that's a lot of flooding. I mean, Megami's probably going to sink in a minute. Um, but it's a fun little strategy that you can you can try out if you want. <laughs> it's certainly going to cripple the San Antonio all that flooding unless they get control of it. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you've got more than one of these. And you can pull off a second salvo, which we might try and do now. It is uh, a pretty nasty trick to pull out. 
the starboard side that's loaded. See if we can hit them. Here we go. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yep. Um, do it, do it, do it. Uh, this is the other problem, of course. Oh, that's ready. Oh, no. Away they go. <laughs> All the little fishies. See, that should be absolutely devastating because the ship is rolled over, so the torpedo protection system. Although, mind you, it might if it goes all the way to the keel, then that would be okay. But there you go. How much was the San Antonio? Well, let's have a look in the battle screen. <laughs> battle screen. But yes, you can do this. It is absolute filthy cheese, but uh, it does it does kind of work. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking out a six hundred million dollar battleship with a hundred and thirty million dollar light cru uh, heavy cruiser. Why not? Seems like uh, a decent, <laughs> a decent result. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this little video, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.